Okay, I'm excited about this one because this is a different toy than most of my unboxings. It's one of the first skill toys I ever really learned. So basically, I was in a skill toy chat and I mentioned that nobody really makes handboards. A homie in the chat basically said you should look up hangnail handboards and I did. And I was excited that there's a company out there making handboards because handboards kind of like died out. Like no one really made them. Tech Deck stopped making them. They, they broke a lot. I know a lot of mine used to break. But I used to fingerboard and handboard like all the time. Probably one of the first skill toys I ever had. So let's see this. Nice. It comes in a box of its own. So yeah, this is a hangnail handboard. That's really cool, they come with their, their own tools. That's sick. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, they says, at Hangnail Handboards, we love to skate, maybe even much as you do. We also loved a handboard, but didn't like spending a year's allowance for one. I can understand that. They're selling their handboards pretty much for 20 bucks, and that's a really awesome price. Because I've seen some high-end wooden ones get pretty pricey. Now, what I like about this is when a company uses their graphics as an icon versus having hangnail handboard right here this makes it way more visually awesome than it would if it just said hangnail so the wheels are plastic trucks are plastic the board is plastic tune everything up now I've heard things about the grip. It is very grippy. Like, I'm doing this. And I can't really even move my hands. I have to really like ease up to let the grip slide. So I've heard people say that they sandpaper it, but it doesn't feel too rough. It's a decent. Now I have not handboarded in a while. But I feel like I should still have all I should still know all my tricks. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, this is really dope. Like, I have handboards. I'm, I'm gonna grab one for comparison. Alright, this is my only one left that has not broke. Let's see. So I noticed like the hangnail kind of has like a, more like a old school shape. And the tech decks is kind of just straight line. So there's more curvature in the hangnail. They look like they have about the same top. A little bit smaller wheels. And maybe just a little bit smaller trucks but overall it's pretty much the same size and this this feels quite heavy in comparison actually so I feel like hangnail made a really good board like I think if it's lighter it's probably better Yeah, I had modded this one. I made it different because I didn't want to have the logo or anything. Again, it just used to say Tech Deck. Wait, this is way cooler grip than Tech Deck used to have. 
and I always would paint over the graphics on my boards. So basically the main issue with the old tech decks is that they just, they broke a lot and I guess the company just stopped making them. So I really like the fact that there's a company out there making affordable handboards. It's a really fun skill toy. Now I used to like drill this as much as I drilled Astrojack. So it was, for me, I started off with like fingerboarding really was the first like actual toy. Maybe just yo-yos up and down. Like I can't really remember what my first actual skill toy was, but the one that I really worked on was fingerboarding and handboarding. It's like the whole beginning of my life. I was really into skateboarding. I still am. I'm old, can't do it. And that's why I like handboards and fingerboards. And it seems like I still have my skills. I'm just gonna have to like play with it a little bit more and get, get my feel back, but muscle memory is still here. Ollieing and grinding and kickflip, all the flip tricks are cool and all, but I really like to get technical with Ronnie Mullen's style. Okay, I'm tired. I've been playing with this pretty much all day and I gotta say it takes a beating really well like I was grinding with it and the grip tape was hitting the metal and you can't really see any scratches on the grip tape really. There's hardly any scratches on the board too so it's really well made. The wheels aren't really even scratched up. So yeah, this is a really good handboard, like $20, you can't really beat this. It's been taking my abuse all day, it's probably gonna take the rest of my abuse and it's throwing me back, man, because I, I grew up handboarding. It's a really fun toy. So if you guys want to get into handboarding, check out Hangnail Handboards because they're extremely well made. It's nice to see a company out there supporting handboards. There's a ton of fingerboard companies, but it's real cool that people are pushing handboarding. So yeah, go check them out. It's definitely, definitely worth it, man.